we don't associate the sextile with laziness. We actually associate the sextile with productivity. The trine we associate more with laziness or with ease or with indifference because it just simply requires us to lift not a finger. So the dynamic aspects in our chart, which are the hard aspects, those are the, the ones that, that create action. They further this, this drama of our story. So with trines and sextiles, there's less action, particularly with the trine. We aren't um, driven to do anything or to know anything because there is no sense of problem. Our attention is not drawn to an issue. So with the sextile between the sun and the moon, there actually is a idea of what we want. There is a vision. So the creative potential is known with the sextile. We have a sense of the sun. We have a sense of the moon. So we have a sense of where we've come from and what our needs are and what our, I uh, want to say our comfort zone looks like. And we know what we want. We know what that creative potential is because the sun is that need for personal expression. So we have a good relationship between these two things, either with the sextile or the trine. With the sextile, we are more consciously aware of that creative vision. So there's more of a choice, more of a, a choice to expend energy. It's not like a hard aspect where, man, we better expend this we better work on this. We better put our energy into this or we are not going to be able to move forward. We may not see a change. We may continue to express frustration. With sextiles and uh, with some of the other minor aspects, there is more of a choice to expend that energy because we see that it's probably going to pay off it looks like a really good investment. So there's a good idea of what I want and what are the emotional uh, types of support that I need to provide for myself, that I need to find in the world, what kinds of relationships am I going to need to foster what kind of behavior, inner behavior, am I going to need to express in order to be in tune with and in support of this creative vision? So the sextile is very easy to uh, cooperate with other people. It's a very cooperative aspect, as is the trine. The trine is so it's, a, it's such an ease of factors that we don't even really consider why people wouldn't cooperate with us. But with the sextile, we're more aware that what we put in is equal to what we get out. With the trine, we're just so Santa Clausy that everybody, you know, likes us and things go well, at least between those two factors, because we can obviously have other things going on in the chart that are more difficult. We're talking about just the sun and the moon. So the past and the way that it is combining with the present to create the future with the trine is so easy because what we 
what we want and where we've come from and what we're prepared for and the kinds of input that we've had. So the habitual emotional patterns, they just so effortlessly combine with the trying that we don't really think much of it. So it, it isn't a force within us that creates any real dynamic activity. And in fact, people can uh, become less likely to put themselves into situations where there can be some amount of contribution that they can make. Um, it's, it's less likely that they'll rise to the occasion because uh, things are just going so well with us over here. With the sextile, there is quite a lot of input into the people around us. So there's a lot of uh, support from the family when we need it, because we are supporting the family when they need it. There's a really good understanding with the sextile, more so than I think any of the aspects. Well, potentially with the opposition though. Oh boy, can we have this realization with the opposition? There's just a really good idea of input versus output. So um, it, we don't just see black and white with the sextile. We know that life comes in shades of gray. We're dealing with black and white thinking or uh, perceptions with the conjunction, with the opposition, with squares, with inconjunctions. Things are very much a blended shade of gray with the trine as well, because we have this allowance for the positive and the negative, for the good and the bad in people. We don't tend to see things just one way or the other. So there's this integration with, uh, often with the quintile as well, with the sextile, quintile, trine, this integration between inner factors within ourselves, which results in an external experience of being able to cooperate, being liked, getting along, having our intimate relationships run pretty smoothly, especially with the trine. People report that, hey, relationships are easy. For someone with, say, a square in opposition, we'd be like, I don't know where that comes from. I have never even had that thought in my life. Relationships are not easy. So the way that our inner and outer clash or work with each other has a lot to do with our experience of black and white, me and you, other self, enemy, friend, because these are the main components of the psyche. So um, we don't have an issue with the sextile or the trine with um, adjusting our past to meet the present or the future. Um, we have more of a sense of it with the quintile or the sextile, more of a sense that, hey, you know, I've birthed, birthed, that, that's a word, right? Birthed, I've birthed a new creative vision over here with the sun. And what I need to do in support of that, the, the kinds of um, changes, the kinds of uh, ad adaptations that I'm going to need to make because the moon again is not, not an adaptable uh, thing within us, it's habitual. The ad adaptations that we'll have to make in order to move forward towards that idea of the creative self, you know, what we would like to, to be, those adaptations are easy with those easy aspects. We may not even think about it with the try or with the quintile, we may not think about it too much either. So, uh, with the sextile, we're generally aware that this is occurring. And this is a very good aspect to have between the sun and the moon, the trine as well. Uh, at times, a quintile, the novile can also be a wonderful aspect to have. 
uh, because there are certain ways that we will combine the inner and the outer to have more probability of happiness, more probability of smooth running relationships. Thank you.